Hello there. This video will show a complete rundown of the fastest cars in the SUVs class in GTA 5. This isn't just going to be another meaningless straight line test or opinion though, because I actually wanted to do it properly, so I drove each car multiple times around the cutting coroner's track under the exact same conditions. The best lap time that each car achieves will determine its place on the leaderboard. For more detail check the description down below, but otherwise let's get straight into it. So in 5th place we've got the Declass Granger with a lap time of 1 minute 12.149. I would just say that I actually only focused on the top 5 SUVs in this video, but I did actually test them all, so if you want to see all the lap times from all the SUVs in the game, check the description down below, because they'll all be in there. So it's a 1 minute 12.1 from the Granger, but in 4th place we've got the Benefactor Serrano, which managed to achieve a 1 minute 11.7. So it's a good 4 tenths quicker, than uh, the Granger and is up there um, with the, you know, it's a lot better than the rest of the SUVs. But it's not really enough to um, get close to the top. And in the third place spot, we've got the Declass Park Ranger, which actually achieved a 1 minute 11.004. So very, very, very close to getting that 1 minute 10. And it probably would have been able to get a 1 minute 10 if I'd given it, you know, enough laps. Um, but I wanted to be as fair as possible and give each car the same time. So yeah, 1 minute 11.0 for the uh, Park Ranger, it is a good car, it does have good traction, um, but it just doesn't have the, the, the speed for the top two. So in second place we have the Vapid Radius, which got a lap time of 1 minute 9.139. Now this is a big jump from the Park Ranger, almost two seconds quicker, um, and really the top two are in a class of their own. So the Radius does have very, very good traction and very good brakes as well. Um, so, you know, it, it depends on your driving style as to how you want to use these cars. But I would say that the Radius is definitely, you know, you can throw it into the, into the corners a lot more. Um, but it just doesn't have the, the power to get it up into that first position. Because in first place, with a lap time of 1 minute 7.640, is the Galavanta Baller. Now this is the second baller, so not the one that looks like a box basically, um, it's the one that looks a bit more stylish. And this just, it's its on another level really, you know, it's, a, it's more than, it's about one and a half seconds quicker than the radius. Um, and it, it doesn't even have the traction or the braking capabilities of the radius, it's just out and out faster. Um, the it, it just has a lot more power behind it um, and a lot more, a lot better acceleration as well, so... The, the baller just is on another level really, um, and it's easily the fastest. As long as you can handle it around the corners, it is easily the fastest SUV. And if you checked out some of my other videos, you'll know that a 107.6 is actually a, would be a reasonable lap time for a sedan, and is rivaling, well, isn't that much slower than some of the coupes. So, you know, it is a very quick lap time, especially for an SUV, uh, and it's easily the quickest in the SUV's class. So I hope this has helped you figure out which SUV you want and which car to use if it ever comes up in a race, and this is certainly the one to have. I would really appreciate it if you would give it a like or subscribe or anything, all that good stuff, because you wouldn't believe how long these videos took, took me to do. Um, and if you want to check out even more different classes, all the links will be in the description down below. So thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.